To master HDR content in HDR10 or HLG format, add your media to the timeline. When Vegas Pro asks if you want to match your project settings to the properties of the media you've added, click Yes. Choose File, Properties. In the Project Properties dialog box, click the Video tab if the video properties are not already visible. Click the HDR Mode drop-down button and choose HDR10 from the list. Several properties change in reaction to your selection. First, the pixel format changes from the standard 8-bit to full-range 32-bit floating point. The ACES color space becomes activated, and the appropriate ACES color space is selected based on the specified HDR format. Make special note of the view transform settings. Now click the HDR mode drop-down button again and choose HLG from the list. The view transform properties updates to the HLG version. Of course, you can choose something else from the list if you'd like. Before you continue, go back and choose the HDR mode that you want to use. Click the OK button to finalize these property changes. Now Vegas Pro is ready for HDR mastering. To preview and edit your timeline media in the correct format, you can apply an appropriate input device transform, IDT, to the media. To do this, click the Project Media tab to open the Project Media window. Right click the Media thumbnail and select Properties from the context menu. Click the Color Space drop down button and choose the appropriate media color space from the list. For example, if you are editing ARRI Alexa or Sony S Log, you can apply the corresponding input transform to convert the source media to the ACES color space. If you edit HLG format, select REC 2020 HLG 1000 nits. You'll need to do a little research to understand which option is most appropriate for your footage. When you're done, click the OK button. Vegas Pro supports HDR preview based on the HDR10 format when in HDR mode. If your computer monitor is HDR compatible, then you can use the Vegas Preview window to see HDR Preview, or you can view it in full screen mode. To view your project in HDR on an external monitor, connect your system to an HDR monitor through a graphics card that also supports HDR output. To configure your HDR10 monitor, choose Project Properties. On the Video tab, click the Master Display drop down button and choose the appropriate option from the list. Again, you may need to do a little of research to understand the best option for your hardware. When you've made your choice, click OK. Generally, you can use all of the editing tools and techniques you already know for non-HDR footage to work on your HDR project, so we won't cover all of that in this training. Color grading presents a bit of an exception. Not all of the existing color tools are HDR compatible, so it's best to use the controls in the new color grading panel for all HDR color grading work. You can use the color grading panel and HDR scopes to make color corrections and color grading adjustments to your HDR footage. Also, if you are connected to an HDR monitor, you can preview an HDR quality while you make your color adjustments. To learn more about the color grading panel, view the color grading tutorial. As mentioned, the Vegas video scopes also support HDR and you can view waveforms and histograms in the NIT scale to show how signal code values map to light output. This enables you to make the proper color adjustments and stay within the specifications required for your job. The Video Scopes window opens by default when you open the color grading panel, so click the Color Grading button now. If you previously modified this mode and the Video Scopes do not open, choose View, Windows, Video Scopes to open them. In the Video Scopes, click the Settings button. Click the Enable ST.2084 HDR Scope checkbox and the 10-bit scale checkbox to activate those features. Click OK. These settings will be ignored if you switch back to a non-HDR project. Once you are ready to deliver your video, choose File, Render As. The Render As format list is filtered to just those formats that support HDR. Select the format you want to render to and one of the HDR10 or HLG render templates. Then follow the normal procedure for saving your rendered file. When you've made all of your choices, click the Render button. You can also deliver your HDR project directly to your YouTube channel, and YouTube will show your movie in HDR. To export your project directly to YouTube, choose File, Share Online, Upload to YouTube. Select the HDR radio button. Click the HDR drop-down list and choose either HDR10 or HLG from the list. Click the Upload button and follow the prompts from there. <laughs>